she serves as the Honda Insider and the Honda Insider Report right now for the Stanley Cup, Linda Cohen. How are you, Elsie? Rich, I'm very thrilled to be on your program, as I always am. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no laugh. That's, oh, there that, it is. that's very uh, that's very formal. I, look, um, I, I I appreciate you coming yes. on the show, Linda. Um, what do you yes. what do you have what What do you have, Elsie? What do you what, what do I have? What's going well, on all, in this Cup wait, final right now? Wait, wait, wait. First of all, before we get to the uh, yes. dominant Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, yes. Uh, can we talk? Uh, I overheard you talking and ripping my mascot, Mr. Matt. No. Uh, Mr. Matt and I go way back. Okay. And? We had a Sports Center commercial <sighs> together. Do you remember those days? He rubbed my <laughs> suntan oil on my back. I mean, that was back in the 90s. We had a very close thing going on. Now, Mr. Matt. Okay. And um, <laughs> so what's happened to Mr. Matt, Linda? <laughs> what happened? What, what's going well, on? obviously... I uh, exited his life, and it has gone all downhill. <laughs> he's a uh, hard for him and the rest of the franchise. He, yes, he's gotten he's gotten just deeper into his own depression, Linda. Yes, uh, ever since that <laughs> SPF moment between yes. you and Mr. Matt. But I, I mean, is it possible that's Matt Harvey in there? Is it possible? You know what? Yes, I mean, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way, Matt Harvey has a connection to all of this. I don't know what it is yet, <laughs> but it has. To, he had. He is not at fault. <laughs> He's got to be. There's got to be so. What? Are, so before we get onto this, this yes. do you is this not symbolic of the 2017 Mets season, <laughs> Linda? That's a leading question. It, but what do you think? No, it absolutely is. I mean, what? It's in. A, put it under the heading. What else could go wrong? Mm -hmm. I mean, what is next? There'll be scandal with Mrs. Mets. <laughs> that is what's next. No. I'm convinced of it. Maybe that's where Matt Harvey is. Now here's the picture. Here's what's going to happen here. <clears throat> what? Mrs. Met will not show to the stadium, and they'll have to <laughs> knock on her door. She'll be yeah. in her she'll be in her pajamas or her negligee. All right. Yeah. And then they'll, Mrs. Met will wind up splashed all over the back pages of the Daily <laughs> News because Mr. Met has now been switched out from inside. Okay. <laughs> Because there's yes. now another human being in that big monster dome of a baseball. Whatever, by yes. the way, whatever happened to the bullpen car? Remember that the Mets always used to drive Mr. Oh, Met in in a bullpen car awesome. with Mrs. Met. You know, yeah. Was, I don't know. It's that's how the franchise has just taken a turn for the worse. Mm -hmm. The bullpen car, Mr. Met showing <laughs> off a digit. You know, it's just, anyway. Let's talk hockey because I know obviously everybody wants to hear. No, they do about that. No, no I seriously. No, here's the thing. It is great. First of all, but you believe this? 25 years at ESPN is the first time they're sending me on the road. Really? The entire Stanley Cup final, and I'm ecstatic, and it's been awesome. And here's the thing. Um, where do I begin? I begin with coming into this series. Now, you know the, you know the whole setup, Nashville, exciting country music, the whole deal. Yep. The series now sh shifts to Nashville, where um, it's kind of a big deal there. And at the same time, the Country Music Awards are going to be there, and they oh. never saw that coming. Those are the two biggest events, Rich, hmm. in this town, um, you know, until the Titans do something. Sure. Um, you know, again, but, um, but the point is those are the two biggest events, and they're coinciding. And it's desperate times on Saturday because Nashville's down 0-2. And the Penguins, even though they're the reigning champs, Everybody was thinking this could be, you know, everything was going right for this Nashville Predator team in their first cup final. They had a goalie named Pecorine who's been a veteran who's finally got to a cup final. So he gets to the cup final and he turns into somebody else because this is not the same Pecorine that was the rock of the franchise for the first three rounds of the postseason. And um, he's been bad. He hasn't made one quality save, and that has a lot to do with uh, the Penguins having a two games to none lead. Well, I suppose you can ask, can Darius Rucker play goalie while he's there uh, for the CMA? What do you think? I don't I don't know, but if he can't, you know I have a history of <laughs> lacing him up. So, you know. In all seriousness, <laughs> no, do you think LaViolette makes a change? What do you think? Um, here's the thing. I don't think you can. Um, I think he deserves a shot to start game three, but my leash is very, very short. And I would bring in the uh, the rookie backup, uh, UC Soros, who no one ever heard of That's right. until last night. Right. Um, most people didn't think he, uh, Pecorino had a backup, but he does exist. Because here's the thing. I mean, it's hard when you're a head coach, you know, you know this from any sport, it's hard to let emotions get in the way. I'll tell you back with the Penguins in the Ottawa, um, 
the Ottawa series when, you know, there was some that thought, you know, that went to a game seven. I mean, I, I frowned upon uh, Mike Sullivan taking Mark andre Fleury out mm -hmm. and bringing Matt Murray in when he was healthy because, you know, the emotions got there and you say, well, we wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for Mark andre Fleury. But Mike Sullivan didn't let emotion get in the way, put Matt Murray back in there. And my goodness, he, along with Jake Gensel, two rookies on this Penguins team, are the big reasons, not Malkin and Crosby, mm -hmm. but Gensel and Murray. Sounds like a law firm. Yes, it does. Gensel and Murray <laughs> are the reasons why the Penguins have a two games to none lead. Yeah, just keep dialing those guys up. I mean, and that's, yeah. that's what they've done. I mean, it's really been incredible how the Predators have held the Penguins down for, you know, um, extended minutes, if not periods at a time. Yes. And then, Linda, three minutes go by and the whole thing's gotten out of hand. And that has got to play in their minds and certainly Rene's minds uh, if LaViolette keeps him in the net when they go back to the home ice in Nashville, Linda. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, see, the thing with the Penguins, yeah, they've been a, probably, you can make a case, they've been outplayed by the Predators five of the six periods that they've been played. That's really, honestly, because, but the Penguins are an opportunistic team. I love that word, but it's, it's, it's so fitting for the Penguins because they have the highly skilled players. And when they have an opportunity, they will score. And they went 0 for 7 on the power play yesterday. But the problem with um, the problem with the Predators is they were so busy killing off seven Penguin power plays that drains them, and they lose any kind of momentum to generate offense of their own. So what Nashville has to do heading into Game Three, obviously Pecorine has to return to being Pecorine, being in the hometown crowd. You know they've only lost one game all postseason at Bridgestone Arena. It's very loud there. They're seven and one there, but they also have to stay out of the penalty box. It doesn't matter if they kill off Penguin power plays; it keeps them from generating their own offense. So that's what Nashville has to find a way. I'm not saying the series is over, but obviously, Rich, as you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Nashville has to win on Saturday, then it will be over. We, if they we, don't. we came up with an idea that if Rene um, can't perform well, that maybe yes. they just stack. Uh, how many would it take, Brockman? 28 catfish? If you Yeah, from, about 29 yes. catfish. Just stack the catfish yes. inside the pipes, and just even a bunch of catfish, just a, a big mass of, of fish would stop 77% yeah. of the shots that the, uh, well, not the only Penguins that, are. Not only that, good point. I Thank mean, you. just the smell alone. That's you wouldn't true. have any opposing <laughs> forward near the net. And we just totally turned them off. They wouldn't even get a shot off. Now, does, does the NHL like this, that we're talking about catfish? Uh, I mean, because, or just, they just spell your name right type stuff, uh, Linda, in all seriousness. Because, <laughs> I mean, the, the cup's on the line here. And we're just talking about fish being thrown on the ice, you know, and we're, we're hey, I, yeah, yeah, no, you know? I hear you. Listen, I think, I think they do like it. I think they love that Nashville's in the final. Okay. I think they love all this other sidebar stuff, catfish, you know, catfish, Keith Urban, Carrie Underwood, you name it. They love it because it gets, look, get someone like you, Rich, talking about the Stanley Cup final. <laughs> now, perhaps you'd be talking about it anyway, but not in this. Not in this vein, so to speak. No, but, um, if it were not, know, for, not if, if it not worked for the catfish, I'd be talking about how Mr. Met flipped the middle finger with only three right. uh, three actual fingers in the thumb, four digits, <laughs> Linda. But we, but you know what? Yeah, that's what makes Mr. Met so special. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many mascots can do that when they don't have enough digits and they don't even have one? And Seriously, somehow there's an illusion that he did. Seriously, let's see the Philly fanatic pull that one off. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But mm -hmm. well, oh. Yeah, what can I tell you? But uh, so yeah, so the the NHL loves it. Any time they can be talked about in okay. any fashion that is positive, and you know, catfish is uh, you know it's okay. It's it's a fun story. So so that's good. But we'll see how it plays out. But uh, it's been great. Rich. Okay. it really has. Are you, you going? Know, I love it. Are you going to the CMAs? Are you going to the Country Music Awards? Are you going? I don't know. Can you get me in? Of I, I I need to meet Keith Urban. He is my love of my life. Okay, he is on my list. I know he's a married man to Nicole Kidman, but, you know, she's a very busy woman. When you say list, so, Linda, what sort of list are you referring to? What are you referring to? You that know list? what kind of list. Everybody's got the list. Okay, so on that list, um, Keith Urban, uh, Mr. Met. Um, <laughs> well, no, Mr. Met, he's no need to be on the list because I told you about our past relationship back in okay, the day. Okay, you checked that box so, already. you know, okay. a list is when, you, you know, you haven't gone in that direction <laughs> yet. Man, I really want to play this game with yeah, Linda. Who else is on this yeah. list? <laughs> what else, what else you got? You want to get now? That's the insider report we're looking for. What else you got? There, there it is. 
Yeah, you know, no. right now Keith Urban's, uh, you know, he, he's tops at this moment. I live in the moment. I live in the present, and I'm heading to Nashville. Okay. So obviously he's number one. Let us and work I don't on mean that. Mr. Met, number one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, I love you. Take care of yourself, okay? You're the best. You too. You're the best, Rich. Bye, hon. Take care. That's uh, Linda Cohn. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to help the NFL figure out what a catch is.